Hello guys, this is Maddie here and uh, this is my second gaming video. As you might have seen, I have made the video for Uncharted. In case you haven't seen, please check that video out. It contains gameplay from Uncharted Golden Abyss. And this is my second video where I will show you Dynasty Warriors. But before going on, I, one of my subscribers asked me that whether I could use the Vita stand as a Vita case as a stand. So yes, the answer is yes, you can use it and let me show you how you can use that. So this is the Vita case. And as you can see right now the Vita is inserted, you know, inserted in the case or is locked. And to use it as a kickstand, just give me a minute. As you can see, as you can see, this is my Vita, and uh, I'm using this as a proper stand. And it's pretty sturdy. It's uh, it's really useful if you want to use it as a stand. I don't use it, but it can be useful for someone who you know wants to. Maybe perhaps watch some video or watch some movie. It could be a useful option. But as you can see, it can be very well used as a stand, and it's a you know it's a pretty sturdy case, as I have told you before. So yes, just for that carry, it can be used as a case. And now let me again bring it back to normal. Or let me remove this Vita from the case because now I'm going to show you the the gaming video so I need to remove it from the case. Let me switch this on. And let me switch off the lights. And now I would be showing you Dynasty Warriors. First of all, Dynasty Warriors is in Japanese. It's a Japanese game. It's not a English game. It just has some very few information in English. So if you are not a Japanese speaker, then don't purchase this game because you won't you won't enjoy it. And it's a, here it is. It's a demo, so you can get some idea. The graphics are pretty good. So, as you can see in this game, multiplayer is supported. If you remember, I had informed you before that in Uncharted, you don't have multiplayer, but in this game and many other games, you do. So this is a typical Japanese, I don't know, they say hack and slash, I mean you just have, it's a sort of arcade game in which you just, you just have to kill the enemy and you move on. So you can choose from a number of warriors or number of, you know, these Japanese dudes and girls as well. So let me choose this guy. And these are the arenas where I could play. And the all this is in Japanese, so I don't know what's written there. But as you can see, these are all different type of arenas where I would fight. So let me choose this one. And now I have to choose. These are options for customizing your character, but I'm not sure whether I should be doing that because I'm not even sure. You know how to do this, so I will just show you the graphics. So as you can see, these are the graphics. And uh, this is, you know, the main character which I have chosen. The graphics are pretty good. This is some display information. Use this for me. I can call my, I can call my knight.
mujeres. So this is this will probably use the touch screen controls. I don't know how to do this or I had no idea how to do this because it was showing the message in Japanese. But Alright, let's move on, let's sit on this horse. This review is sort of incomplete because as you can see most of the stuff is in Japanese so I can't really explain what they're trying to say because I can speak Chinese but I can't speak Japanese and it, they are not similar so you know I can't really tell you what's happening or I'm, I'm not even perfect in this game because I just downloaded it because I wanted to see I don't even play this game I actually don't like these, this genre of game so but yeah, it's simple, you just have to, you know, crush through them and just move on and there will be new powers and, you know, new kind of, I don't know, special trickery and skills. So this is it, I guess I have given you a brief idea. Let me show you the graphics a bit more. So you can see graphically it's pretty good. So this is how it is. And uh, let me let me quit this. I don't even know how to quit because everything is in Japanese, but I guess it could be here. I have no idea how to quit this. <laughs> Maybe this is some customization. So this is it. I guess I will need to quit it manually. And this is all for Dynasty Warriors. And the next game would be Little Deviants and Gravity Rush, which I will do in just a single video. And... Uh, that probably it. Some general talks. My friends asked me about 3G, and the truth is that you don't need 3G for GPS. You need an active internet connection. It could be either Wi-Fi or 3G. And uh, of course, if you're out of Wi-Fi range, you need 3G. But if you ask me, I would say buy the wi buy the Wi-Fi version, because eventually you need to pay extra for the 3G, and uh, the internet is not it's not a internet device. It's a gaming device, so. You know, it's good for games, so rather than spending money on 3G, you should save the money and buy some good games. That's my advice. And uh, let me think some of some other questions which you have asked me. Uh, it's not region logged. I have, everyone knows this, but the PlayStation Store is locked. I mean, if you register yourself to a country, then 
you can't change your area of residence you have to either you know you have to format the memory card or you have to buy a new memory card and uh, nothing else that's all i didn't i didn't notice anything new on my psp if i would notice something new i would let you know and uh, that would be it i will show these two games pretty soon and uh, yep that's it as of now yep I, don't, I can't remember anything which i have to inform you guys so i will make another video probably in two or three days time showing these two games and thanks for watching and hope to see you real soon